This is the Watchman Implant, a one-time procedure that may reduce your stroke risk for a lifetime. If you have atrial fibrillation not caused by a heart valve problem and need an alternative to blood thinners, you'll want to learn more about Watchman. You probably already know that atrial fibrillation, or AFib, increases your risk of having a stroke. In fact, on average, a person with AFib is five times more likely to suffer a stroke than someone with a regular heartbeat. That's because AFib causes your heart to beat irregularly, which affects its ability to pump blood normally. And when the heart doesn't pump as it should, blood can collect and form clots. If a clot escapes, it can cut off the blood supply to the brain, causing a stroke. Dr. Adam Rosenbluth is a clinical cardiologist who's been practicing in New York City for over 16 years. He's been referring his patients for the Watchman implant since the clinical trials. Here, Dr. Rosenbluth explains how Watchman works. In people with atrial fibrillation, blood clots most commonly form in a part of the heart called the left atrial appendage, or LAA. Closing the left atrial appendage is an effective way to reduce stroke risk in people with AFib not caused by heart valve problems. Watchman is the only implant approved by the FDA to do exactly this. This little device fits right into your left atrial appendage, closing it off so blood clots can't form there and lead to a stroke. If you have AFib not caused by a heart valve problem and need an alternative to blood thinners, Watchman may be right for you. Studies have shown that Watchman effectively reduces the risk of a stroke. It can also reduce the risk of bleeding associated with long-term use of warfarin. If you take a blood thinner for atrial fibrillation, you're probably aware of the bleeding risks that come with it. Most people can take a blood thinner for years without serious side effects. But because blood thinners help prevent clots by thinning the blood, they also increase the risk of bleeding. Sometimes bleeding can be serious or even life-threatening. For instance, you may experience major internal bleeding or bleeding in the brain, which can cause a stroke. If you've experienced this kind of bleeding while taking a blood thinner, or if you're at risk for this kind of bleeding, then talk to your cardiologist about Watchman. In a clinical trial, nine out of 10 people were able to stop taking warfarin just 45 days after getting Watchman. Now, Dr. Rosenbluth describes the Watchman procedure. The Watchman implant doesn't require open heart surgery. Similar to a stent procedure, your doctor makes a small cut here in your upper leg and inserts a narrow tube like this. Your doctor then guides Watchman through the tube into your left atrial appendage. The procedure is done under general anesthesia and typically takes less than an hour. People who get the Watchman implant usually stay in the hospital overnight and go home the next day. After the procedure, you'll take warfarin until your left atrial appendage is permanently closed off, usually just 45 days. During that time, heart tissue grows over the Watchman implant to form a barrier against blood clot. Watchman has been clinically studied for more than 10 years in the United States and has a proven safety record. As with any medical procedure, there are risks involved with Watchman. Read the important safety information at the end of this video and talk to your cardiologist so you fully understand all the benefits and risks of Watchman. Watchman can be a life-changing alternative to the daily use of blood thinners and the bleeding risks that come with them. See if Watchman is right for you. Get your customized doctor discussion guide and talk to your cardiologist. Go to watchman.com slash guide.